So I think we should start. Um, I hope everybody's on board already. So welcome everybody to today's webinar. Today we're going to talk about working with document differences in WinChill RVNS and uh, challenges that uh, come with such working uh, using this functionality. And also we want to introduce and present uh, a way of a solution to do uh, to streamline this this uh, this functionality or working with this functionality. Before we start, I want to quickly introduce Manuel Bock, my colleague. He's uh, our development lead. He's been with Nanga for about two and a half years now, and he's uh, the man in charge of all the tools that we uh, develop with his development team uh, of about ten people. And today he's going to talk about uh, working with documents. He will have a sample when he talks about using this functionality, which is uh, a watch manufacturer. And <clears throat> um, then we will see how the Nanga document uh, merge, the uh, difference in a document merge, can solve these problems that you have when you work with uh, Richard Arvines. So, next slide, please. So the greatest challenge is um, when you work in uh, different projects or in the project itself, you have different versions of documents. Uh, they are all stored in your database. And from time to time, you might want to compare these documents. You want to see the differences or it can be the evolution of a system itself. It can be you have implemented something for customer A that now needs to be implemented for customer B. Um, and there's many use cases that you need the differences for. So looking at the differences, we will first see the example of how that's done within Winchill RBMS. And then as a second step, we will show you how this is done in the Nanga document merge uh, tool that we offer. Uh, so you have the direct comparison. There's basically, I would say, two enhancements. It's usability, which is always our focus when developing Nanga products um, for the users of RBMS and additional capabilities that we will introduce. And in this case here is the merging capability that will be introduced directly from a different view. But all this will be explained in detail by Manuel Mock. So with no further ado, Manuel, it's your turn. Thank you. Okay, thank you Lars for the introduction and also a warm welcome from my side. Um, yeah, working with differences in Winchel RENS. Um, Rinche RENS provides us a bit in functionality to do this. Um, you can reach this uh, functionality about document view differences. And then a small pop-up where it comes up where you can uh, select the documents you want to compare. Um, maybe you can uh, select the document in the branched version or baseline. And then in the next step, you must select which fields you want to use um, to calculate the differences. Um, per default, um, it will use the text field, but you can add um, additional fields to compare. And um, you have some options to set some, some filters here. Maybe you can hide items without differences because they are not relevant. And you can do this here. When you click OK, then you get difference view. Um, this, this is uh, similar to, to um, this, what you can see now. Um, I will show you this um, difference view live in the document. But first, let's look our, on our scenario we want to um, use in this um, webinar. So imagine we are a watch manufacturer and we produce watches for men, women, um, unisex sports um, watches and all our watches are developed based on a main requirement document. So we have a template and each project we have for a new watch is just a branch of this main requirement document. So imagine um, you are um, the, the main or the, the head requirement engineer and your stakeholders asking you which changes do we have in our requirement document and then you must Calculate the difference. You can do this in RNS. So here you can see our template um, requirement document. Um, so we have some, some system requirements, waterproof requirements, time zone requirements, timer requirements, and so on. And yeah, okay. Now you can go to the view differences functionality. You can select the document. In this case, it is our document with ID 162. Um, we want to compare it with a baseline version of the same document. 
therefore I type into the same ID. And in this case, we want to use the label, a labeled version, maybe the in review uh, version. And we can also select some additional fields, but for now we will uh, have this empty. Then we press, uh, press OK. And which RNS calculates the differences for us. And um, what we can see now is the requirement document on the left side and the baseline version on the right, the right side. And we can scroll a little bit. And then we see some changes here. So it is useful to see changes, but what we have here is a lot of redundant information. So you just want to see the changes, but now we have synchronization requirements as, a, as an example on both sides. So it's a little bit overwhelming. And um, when we now want to change um, or to add some new fields for this, uh, the comparison, or we want the use of uh, one of these filters we have um, in the pop-up window, we must start the process completely at the beginning with new differences. So I can do this. Um, so we must re-enter our ID. And we can also select that label. And we can, for example, hide uh, the changed uh, or unchanged items. Then it's a little bit more, um, or you get a better overview about changes. Um, but we have um, additional um, disadvantages uh, for this uh, solution or bit in solution. So imagine you must discuss these uh, changes in an external meeting with maybe external um, stakeholders, then they don't have access to Rinche RBNS normally. And uh, then you must go into Rinche RBNS and recalculate the differences. So you must know it, which, which ones you have calculated before in, in the preparation for this meeting. And yeah, this is a little bit tricky and uh, you cannot export uh, this difference view. So back to the presentation. Um, when I summarize our problems, so we have a slightly bad user experience. We can work with it, but it could be a little bit better. So we have many steps and clicks to do. Sometimes we have redundant information and the filtering is not the best. Um, it seems that the higher level process is a bit out of focus. So it's just a tool to generate the differences, nothing more. And we don't have an export functionality um, in the built-in um, difference view. And the big question is, what happens after a difference calculation? Normally, you not have the need to just calculate the difference. You want to do something afterwards. So maybe you want to merge something. And uh, this is not possible with the built-in um, difference view in which are in S. So how we can improve or improve difference uh, calculation. Our proposal for this is our new product, Nanga, pro um, Nanga Document Merge. Um, Nanga Document Merge is a web-based add-on for Winchel Arvin S. It has a very modern user experience and user interface. You have um, multi-language support. You can select different themes. Um, you have an export functionality um, for Microsoft Word, PDF, XML, and HTML format. Um, you can merge changes in a very simple way. And last but not least, the raw process is quite easy because you just uh, need a web server to install the solution there. And then all your users can uh, access this via web browser. So there's no need to distribute it to your client PCs. But before we jump into Nanga Document Merge, I want to explain or give you some words about the use cases we want to see there. So the first one is that I will um, calculate the same differences as we did with the built-in functionality from Winch RVNS. Um, then we want to export these differences to a PDF uh, document. And you can use it in an external meeting, for example. And the third um, use case is that I think it's, it's a realistic use case that you have a new project for a smartwatch as a um, watch manufacturer. 
and you want to merge some of your main requirements to this project requirement document and uh, compare it with the, the main requirement document. Okay, let us jump to Nanga document merge. So as I said, it is uh, reachable about a, um, or with the help of a web browser. Um, you need your Rinch Arvin S credentials here. And you can uh, log into the application. Um, what we see now is the so-called um, wrap and if view. Um, on the right side, we have a main menu, I would say, where we can find our uh, different themes. Maybe we are quite or more comfor comfortable with, uh, with a light theme. You can select it there. We can change uh, languages. In this case, just the English language is configured, but you can add more languages with the help of language files. Um, you see um, some connection details, so the server you are logged in and the user, and you can log out um, the um, API session. Then on the left side, we have our main navigation. So we have the merge view at the top. Then we have a license button. Um, so when you're logged in as an administrator, you can put the license here. We have a about menu. Sorry, familiar or normal to have this to see the, um, the actual version of the application. And we have a link to uh, documentation. In this case, it points to our official Langa um, systems documentation, but you can also link um, uh, internal documentation there. Okay, but back to the merge view. Um, what do we have here as inputs? So on the top, we have inputs for our documents. So the primary document, the secondary document, and our feed for comparison. And this is very similar to the inputs in which Arvin S. Then we have some basic um, filter options here. We have the export button to export as uh, Word, as PDF, as HTML and XML. And we have some more small um, features here. So I will explain them a little bit later. Okay, let us look in our documents. So imagine um, this is the main requirement document, as I said, and we have a um, document for our smartwatch project. So we are working here in this in our project. So here are some new um, requirements, um, which are just special for a smartwatch. So we want to track the pulse of the user continuously. We want to track steps and we want to uh, track sports activities. These are um, specific for the smartwatch project and are not needed uh, for a, a normal watch. Okay, but how can we work with um, Langa document merge? As I said, first of all, we want to uh, see the same difference view as we uh, have seen before in Winchia RNS. So I will uh, select the documents. It is uh, the main requirement document. And again, we select the baseline in review. Then we can select the feed for comparison. And we refresh. And now Nanga document merge has calculated a difference for us. For us. Um, we see the complete document here. So uh, section numbers, we see the category, we see the text uh, field content, and we also have the ID. When we press on it, we can open it in, in the web view to see further information uh, about this item. And now we have a small grid navigation at the top where we can jump um, easily to the next change or interesting change. So in this case, as before, in which RNS, we have um, a red um, content. So this means that it is not, or it is available in the live document, but was not available in the baseline. So in case we, when we um, merge these changes, then we will overwrite it or we delete it in the live document. And we have, again, the baseline as we had before. Another one could be a changed item. Uh, we mark them as, as yellow. 
And here you can see uh, a change. So in this case, the seconds has changed from uh, three to five. Okay. Now we can also um, use some filters. Um, this is quite similar to Runge RBS, but you need um, not so many steps to do this. So just press on the quick filters on the left side and it recalculates the view for you. We can also um, exclude some, some uh, contents there. So maybe you don't want to see deleted contents, then you can do that here. Um, we can search maybe for ID. Then we see the elements with the sp uh, specific ID or maybe all headings. And we see just headings here. And we have an additional feature um, to build some um, um, queries or filters. So maybe you just want to see changes for contents with a, a specific state. Maybe um, state contains or it contains reviewed. Um, in this case, it will not work because um, I use sample data, but um, I think it's uh, quite realistic to use such a filter in a, a real project. Uh, read it again. Okay. And the last step in this uh, use case is we want to, to do an export to discuss this with our stakeholders. And we get a PDF document. And yeah, what we see here, we see the export date. So as of now, we see the version of Nanga document merge. Um, you can see it's a 00, zero version, so a pre-release version. Um, this means uh, something can change here. Um, we see the user um, we are used to log into Rinchu RBNS, and we see the primary and secondary document with baseline or with a date. And then we get all changed items, um, and um, we can use this document to talk about with some extra stakeholders, for example. Okay. Now we want to see our third use case. So maybe we want to merge some changes from the main requirement document into our smartwatch project. So therefore we select, select as a primary document, the um, requirement document from the project. And a secondary we use uh, the main um, requirement document. Fields are we use just the sex field and we refresh. Okay, now we see uh, six changes in total. We can uh, quickly jump through the first one. So now we have a green one. This means it is um, not available in the um, project um, requirement document, but it is um, available in the template um, requirement document. So when we merge it, it will be a new one. Therefore, it is green. Um, in our project temp, um, requirement document. Then we have some requirements which are just available in the project and not in the template. So therefore they are uh, red. Um, I think it doesn't matter for now. So we filter our, doc or our a difference view a little bit. And we have a changed one as before. So this is the one with the, the seconds uh, which are changed. Okay, so the last step in our process, so we, we know which are the differences and now we want to merge some differences from the template back to the project requirement document. Um, we have two options to do, to do this. So first of all, we can um, merge all changes. This will mean um, Nanga document merge will accept all changes. So green ones will be created yellow runs will be edited and um, red runs will be deleted in our project um, requirement document. Or the second um, um, options to do um, merges is one by one. So maybe we want just to um, create a not existing um, system requirement. So this one, then we can click the accept button. We can look into the document um, to see um, this this requirement. So 
when I refresh. This is the last uh, version or as of version of our um, smartwatch requirements. So we have three, three, one, three, two, three, three, and uh, section three, four. And now we merge our new requirement. Um, it directly updates our view here. When we look back into our document, press refresh, and then we have the new um, requirement here, and it is also branched uh, from our main requirement document. So this is where we help for when dealing with differences in requirement documents and other uh, document types. Um, and we can do a second uh, merge. So maybe for the this one, it's a chapter for two, we can see again for two, we have, oh, this is the right one. System requirements. Ah, forward. Yes. Okay, great. And set the change. And then this change is also merged. And now we have the five seconds. Okay, um, one last feature um, I have not talked about um, already. Um, we have the so called um, ignore merge history feature. So I think it's quite realistic when you are um, when you have a real project, um, then you have very big requirement documents and you can't merge all requirements in one go. So maybe you start on Friday to work on it, merge some contents, and then you come back on Monday and you um, further work um, on the merge process. But when you're using the built-in div functionality, then it could be a little bit tricky to do this because then you can get back um, already merged items. And this is the reason why we have built a store merge functionality, which um, stores our merge operations in the background. And this is good in this use case when you want to uh, further work on, on big documents, but it could be a problem in some cases. So therefore we have the this um, checkbox and you can also ignore this, this merge history. So when I do this, refresh, I will see again the differences for this uh, green item we had before. Probably. <laughs> As I said, this is a pre-release version, so um, there are some changes planned. Um, I think that this is one of them. So yeah, I think for now, it was it from my side um, about a document merge. So it is very helpful in dealing with documents and differences. Yeah, okay. Perfect. Super. Okay, so if there's no further questions, um, like I said, the recording will be will be provided. Uh, please reach out to us or the contacts that you have with the Nanga systems uh, for more details. And we're looking forward to uh, the discussions. And thank you all for your time. And uh, thank you, Manuel, again. And for now, I would say we wish you all a good afternoon. Take care. Stay healthy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.